Hello, beautiful Cancerians. How are you? Welcome to my channel. My name is Misty the Mystic with Sugarfoot Tarot. Thank you for joining me. Super, super grateful that you have. I too am a Cancer. My son is a Cancer. So check your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus, because Venus, of course, is a love sign. Um, also, please check out as many readers as you can. There's some amazing readers out there. Get as much information as you can, and whatever resonates with you. If I resonate with you, I'll give you the information in the link below. Please email me. Be happy to set something up for you and get you a personal reading. Okay? Um, so, we're doing love for singles first and then couples. So, if someone would like to timestamp uh, it for me for this between the singles and the couples, that would be awesome. Thank you so much if you're able to do that. This is October 2018, the first 17 days of the month. We have a new moon on um, Tuesday the 9th, uh, Venus retrograde on the 6th on Saturday. Then we got the new moon on the 9th. I have uh, nine Halloween decks, um, and so today I've chosen to use um, the Everyday Tarot. Okay. And then to verify, clarify, the witch's tarot. The glare is there. Sorry about that. Okay. Fabulous, fabulous. So I've already um, uh, meditated on you, and the card that fell out was a justice card. Now this can mean several things, my beautiful Cancerians. We'll do. This is for both singles and couples for this card. Um, it could be that you know Venus going retrograde on the sixth through November sixteenth. That is the planet of Libra and Taurus, but Libra. Um, so it's going to kind of, kind of cause you to go haywire. You know, X's are going to come out of the woodwork. Um, thoughts are going to come in your head that probably shouldn't be in there. Worries, insecurities that shouldn't be there. Um, and others are going to have the same worries, so it's going to affect you because you know, Cancerians are so psychic, you're so intuitive, empathic. You're going to catch up on everyone else. So, um, and it also could mean that for singles that there is a Libra that you want to date or that you like or that you're trying to find balance in your life for love I mean you have the perfect job you have the money but you you do want love it's been a rough summer with all the retrogrades and the eclipses and for couples you know, your mate could be a Libra again you're trying to find balance with the holidays coming through love and family but this is what came out and this is the energy is is the justice card um, getting justice okay so I've already shuffled and my single cancerians oh they're flying out that's good right I need one more card for the first week one more card for the first week for my single cancers okay and the second week one more card for the second week And a half one card for the second the the third week to the seventeenth, fourteenth, and seventeenth. We'll do one card for half a week. Whoa, we had a couple come out, so that's a good sign, right? Okay, so we're gonna do three cards. So the middle of the month's gonna be interesting. The bottom of the deck is either you, because it is the Knight of Cups, or it could be you could have a crush on another water sign, or the person that you have a crush on or like. Or, or dating, being single, um, is a, has water sign in them. Fantastic. So the first week, um, you have it all. You have the money, you have the job, you have the home, but you don't have the love. And the reason why I say this is because the card next to it is everything but love. You have everything you need, everything you want, except for love. Now, that could mean that you have a crush on an earth sign or an air sign, and um, and you're wanting that love. Maybe you've been waiting on them for a while, for the summer, um, hoping that they'll come in. Or that, you know, with the Halloween, you, there's, there's, uh, there's uh, costume parties, and you're hoping to run into this person or find someone. And you do, you know, 
Cancerians want that somebody that will protect them and make them feel safe and have money and security. And you're you're wanting that security. You're wanting that love for singles, my Cancerians. You want that. And and the person that you like or that you want may be that particular person that, that you need and you're hoping for that. It might have been a dry summer. It's been a rough year for everyone. That that definitely could be. Uh, let's do a clarifier card on this King of Pendulums and Seven of Cups. Oh, there you are again. This is your card, the Chariot. You know you're riding solo right now, but you're riding high, and you're you're gonna find somebody. The first week, um, you're you're out looking, you're out and about. You got your chariot. You're looking high, low, hoping to find that person. You're also securing yourself, but you're ready. You're ready to find somebody. So that's the first week. The second week, um, it could mean that you're just hanging out with your cats, but I don't think so. I think you're going to meet somebody, and they're going to be like a teacher to you. They're going to show you the way. Um, you may be infatuated with them. You may work with them. You may go to school with them. You may see them out and about if you attend nightclubs. Um, and you may they may be trying to impress you. You know how how people that have that like you too or have a crush on you are trying to impress you, and you're just being that beautiful cancer and like mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm. Looks like you're gonna find someone on that second week. Um, you know, air sign, earth sign, um, adventurous. You know, definitely could be a Sagittarius, someone that wants to travel and is telling you about all their plans that they have in the future. Could be a first date. You definitely could, definitely could be having a first date on the second week. Um, if you do, though, having a second date on the on the second week or there's someone that you like that you have searched high and low for on the first week, don't tell your girlfriends. They don't need to know. They might ruin it for you. Um, just car, this car looks like just fighting and fussing and of course Venus is retrograde and we got the new moon and you know cancers are ruled by the moon and yes new moons you're supposed to start new projects but um, and I know this is a love read but you might be having issues at work um, but don't tell your girlfriends if you have that guy that you have a date with keep this to yourself um, we don't want anyone to ruin it for you enjoy that first date or that guy that you like or if you run off to the bathroom and you're sitting with the guy at the bar, don't tell the girls in the bathroom. Just play it cool. Be cool. Be cool. Oh, beautiful. So the clarifier is, you know, this queen of wands, that beautiful, sensual cancer that you are. You know, take on that lioness uh, uh, feel, that, that be, be a Leo. You know, I'm a sexy cat and I like you. I like you. Look at me. I'm a cute. I'm a cute little kitten, but I'm a sexy tigress. And you're gonna get this person, this man, this woman. Don't get hung up on genders. Um, but you know, take that on that second week, okay? And the third week, three fell out. So your work's gonna be good, but you're gonna get this man, this man, this one man. You, you got him. Yes, you've got that that rod. See, this is you again. You've got that rod, that stick, and you're carrying it with you. And you've got that man, okay? But you've been hurt in the past. Don't. Don't take on that energy. Venus going retrograde, it's going to give you those that, that insecurity. Don't. Cash those away. Celebrate with your friends. By the third week, say, yep, enjoy. I got this man. This man's amazing. Celebrate with your friends. Have your freedom, but have your man or your woman. Forgive me. I could be talking to a man as dating another man or a woman dating another woman or a man dating a woman. You know, celebrate that you've got this man, but don't let, don't let the um, Venus mess things up, okay? So that's, that's my beautiful single, my single cancers. Now let's quickly do, I don't want to take too much time up because I know that time is, and let's do our beautiful couples, okay? Spirits and guys, what can we tell our couple Cancerians for the first two and a half weeks of October for love? 
October. My Cancerians that are in a committed relationship or married. What can we tell? What advice? What can we what can we tell them? So the first week. Hmm. Second week. Nice. And third week. Oh, nice. Very interesting. So, happy, happy, happy. You and your mate singing a song. Mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. Romance. You're in harmony with each other the first week of October. This is a beautiful card, totally in harmony. But we got that Venus retrograde for my couples. It may not even be you and your relationship because this is you and your relationship. This is being an empath, being a psychic, being intuitive, Cancerian. The world's going to have those thoughts and those drama and it's going to affect you. Push that negativity away because you've got this. you got love. Enjoy your home life. Enjoy what you have. Don't worry about all that goodies. Let's do a clarifying card for the Seven of Wands of how to deal with being an empath and a psychic. and Yeah, Five of Swords. Seven of Wands. Whoops. Seven of Wands, Five of Swords. Just cut it all out. Take care of your family. This is you. Really try to meditate. Do yoga. Take that time to not deal with that. Okay, my beautiful Cancerian, my couples. Second week, oh, you could have children, your mate could have children, you could have children together. Second week, we got a new moon on the on the Tuesday the 9th. Sorry, there's such a glare, I'm gonna have to shut those drapes. Beautiful, beautiful, love, love, self-explanatory, happiness, and you have hope for the future. You're like, this is going to be, the next three months at the end of this year is going to be amazing. There's hope. And let's find out what you're hoping for. Let's clarify this star card. Ooh, this one just fell out. Yeah, your mate. Fire sign. You're either with a fire sign or an earth sign or that in their, in their chart. Um, husband, wife. Um, you're hopeful. And that could be you taking on the energy too. You're just settling in. You know, you dig out those warm sweaters and those snow boots and you just snuggle in and watch Netflix with your mates and cook some amazing, amazing food and and you're just so hopeful. So, and on the third week, we got some obsession going on. Um, your mate also could be a Capricorn or you both could have Capricorn in your chart. Um, overindulgence, you know, we Cancerians love to overindulge for the holidays um, jump on exercising right now because I don't want to affect you and your your mate, your significant other of you gaining a little bit of weight because Halloween candy's out and you want to look great in the Halloween outfit and you know the holidays are coming and you're starting to bake and cook and, and all that good stuff. You know, there's a little obsession and Venus retrograde will cause that obsession. You know, there's, there's Pluto that's involved. Um... And with Libra and Pluto, it's going to cause you to be a little obsessive about your weight and what you don't want. And don't let this happen the third week, okay? Let's pick one more card for my coupled Cancerians for the third week about this, 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 this worry. Okay, whoops, two wants to come out. Yeah, yeah, you know, crashing, it's going to crash and burn. Don't let this take care of you, you know, your worry. Don't let this crash and burn. Um, it says in your couple, you're happily together. It's your own thoughts with this this Venus retrograde. Um, take on the Virgo. Take on Virgo. Vir my midheaven's in Virgo. So I'm closer I get to 50, the more I take on the healing aspect of Virgo. But, you know, you've got this. You, everything's black and white. You know, don't let this obsession crash anything. Think of everything as black and white. You've got this. Meditate, do yoga, get your Halloween candy, you know, get your baking done, love your mate, enjoy the big sweaters and the, the, the yoga pants and 
and the weather, you know, I'm in northern Colorado, so it's starting, the leaves are falling and you're going to start snowing. So take on this Virgo energy. You are majestic. You are a beautiful, beautiful woman, so full of heart. And you've got this. Thank you so much, my Cancerians. If you would like a personal reading, get a hold of me below and have the most wonderful first half of October. We'll see you for the second half. Thank you.